Welcome back to another video in Windows Server 2025 tutorial. In this lesson, we will learn about SCSI and Fiber Channel Storage. Before we dive into SCSI or a Fiber Channel, let's first understand what a shared storage means. So, shared storage, which is a kind of a centralized pool of disks accessible to multiple servers, it provides block level access. This term is very important, block level access, because this kind of access is very essential for advanced workloads like uh, virtualization, high availability clusters, and backup systems. Let's start with SCSI. SCSI is Internet Small Computer Systems Interface, and it is a protocol that enables the transport of SCSI commands over standard IP network. Let's make it simple. You have your traditional uh, network switch and servers uh, where you connect over a Ethernet cable and you want to implement a shared storage. You can choose SCSI storage because it lets you access the remote storage over a network. Let's uh, draw and make our understanding in a simple way. You have a server, then a shared storage. The shared storage is connected to Ethernet switch uh, over the Ethernet cable. And also the server is also connected uh, to the switch over the Ethernet cable. So as both are connected over Ethernet, you can configure SCSI on the storage and also on the server and you can share the disk of the storage, the local disk of the storage to the remote server. That means the, the, the server that we draw here, you can share it and it will appear as a local disk in the server. Like a, a D drive or D drive uh, with a block level access you get uh, through SCSI protocol. Coming to the fiber channel, which is a high performance storage protocol designed specifically for data centers. And it, you need a dedicated hardware, including host bus adapters and uh, specialized fiber channel switches. So it forms a completely separate storage network from your regular Ethernet LAN. So in the previous slide, when we explained about the SCSI, I explained that you can achieve SCSI storage with the existing network uh, switch and uh, servers. But coming to a fiber channel, you need to purchase an additional uh, HBA card uh, for and install it on your server. Then you need to use uh, fiber channel cables to connect to a new fiber channel switch. Then from the fiber channel switch, you connect to the fiber channel storage. So the overall communication is not over the regular Ethernet LAN. You need a dedicated storage area network. Uh, let's see how uh, in real world the physical servers and the storage connect in an SCSI environment. So I'm going to start with uh, SCSI first, then we will uh, also see fiber channel. So this is a network switch, then uh, this is the uh, server and this is the uh, storage. So this storage will have a lot of disk. So this these boxes are filled up uh, with a lot of disk and the storage will have at least uh, two cables coming to the uh, network switch. Uh, these two cables are Ethernet cables and this is done, uh, multiple cables are used because uh, this is how it gets the uh, high availability and redundancy. So we are using the existing network switch because this is iSCSI, which work over the uh, network, uh, Ethernet uh, network. No need to have a specialized uh, hardware. Now we connect cables to the uh, servers. So we can also connect multiple cables here to the servers. Then this will have an IP address, right? For example, x.12, x.13, let's say x.14 and x.15. So this is a kind of IP address that configured. Now you can share uh, this the, the storage, for example, the disk that you uh, created in this in this uh, storage. Uh, 
uh, like let's say you have a 12 GB disk this can be shared over the Ethernet to the storage and also you can share the same with the other one and this is how the clustering are done but in reality this is how the SCSI is is configured now uh, let's let's try to do the same for uh, the fiber channel storage so we are going to talk about fiber channel so fiber channel case you need a additional switch here that is called uh, uh, SAN switch so in addition to the network switch you need a SAN switch and this SAN switch is not connected using the normal Ethernet cable. It need a fiber channel a cables. So for that you need to buy additional uh, HBA cards. This is like Ethernet cards, HBA cards for the each uh, server. Then you run the cable from HBA card to the storage switch. The same the uh, FC storage they comes with uh, a storage controller having the uh, fiber channel uh, uh, connection so you will be connecting the cables uh, to the uh, SAN switch uh, from your fiber channel and to share a disk like uh, like we said in this case you want to share a 12 GB disk then you will be configuring some kind of a zoning here uh, zoning that's how the disk is going to be visible to the servers. So in addition to the uh, normal uh, network, you still need uh, some uh, fiber channel switch uh, to, to handle the uh, storage area network. So this is adding additional components like a HBA card and hand switches and also high costly storage. So this is how it is handled in the real world environment. The, uh, storage area networking and SCSI storage. Now let's compare the two uh, options SCSI and fiber channel side by side. SCSI runs over standard Ethernet. You don't need any additional infrastructure. You can do it with your network infrastructure. This means lower cost, easier deployment and greater flexibility. But coming to the fiber channel which requires a special hardware like I said it need a HBA card on the servers. You need a fiber channel cables. You need fiber channel switches. But this delivers ultra low latency and high throughput which is good in a case of financial institutions, large data centers and hospitals where you cannot compromise the performance. Now let's uh, talk about the real world use cases. So small to medium sized businesses or labs SCSI is ideal and it is easy to set up and integrate well with the Hyper-V and also with the VMware. But for high-end uh, latency sensitive applications like a database or banks, uh, critical transaction systems, fiber channel provides the speed and the reliability that you require. But you need to consider about the cost. Cost is one of the most important decision factors because it is the clear winner in terms of affordability. No need to ho have the expensive HBAs and uh, fiber optics and fiber channel switches. But coming to the storage area network with the fiber channel, however, the hardware and the maintenance cost is making it only suitable for the organization with such a large IT budget. Coming to the management of uh, uh, iSCSI and fiber channel, iSCSI is relatively simple. You just need, uh, need to use IP addresses and Windows also provide uh, uh, iSCSI initiators with Windows operating system. So you don't, you don't need to go out to get something. You have everything uh, out of the box available with your Windows server and uh, your network. But coming to the fiber channel, you need, you need to uh, zone uh, to, to share the storage, you need switch configuration and very deep understanding on the sand fabrics uh, and this is getting things more complex. So FC fiber channel environments tend to be extremely uh, stable once uh, properly configured and it's it's a one-time job because um, you are uh, you have a separate stack for fiber channel storage. You're not uh, uh, regularly doing some uh, changes like you do on the network switches. So, once you set it up properly, fiber channel brings a 
a very good performance and stability uh, but it's still uh, the management is, is still complicated because uh, IP addresses are uh, and configuring an IP address and setting up iSCSI storage is relatively very simple compared uh, to the fiber channel which very limited professionals have access to the knowledge and the experience on that topics. So in summary for most virtualized workloads iSCSI is a great mix of flexibility, performance and cost efficiency but when maximum uptight and uh, uh, predictable latency and absolute performance are non-negotiable then fiber channel remains the gold standard. So that's it about fiber channel and SQSI storage. See you in the next one.